Before we introduce you to a certain Minneapolis South High School debate team, you need to know what a high school policy debate in 2021 looks and sounds like. Be advantage of harm reduction measures with affirmative consensus exists for efficacy of harm reduction measures with criminalization as a discussion. Drug criminalization destroys consistent implementation and undermines efforts of harm reduction. Decriminalization decreases the risk of a disease spread, gives improved access. This is not what I was expecting. What are we watching? Over like years of debate, because it's like a competitive activity, it's evolved to involve like talking very fast. It's like 300 words per minute. Basically, evidence is produced in a way that you can read parts of it without reading all of it. My parents watched the state tournament like last year in person. And they, were just, they thought it was so odd. Odd or not, Gabe Chang Deutsch and Clara Conry won that 2019 state tournament and repeated the feat again this year, earning them recognition from coaches beyond Minnesota as the number one team in the nation. It was kind of funny. The way I figured out is one of my friends who is also on our team texted me about it and I uh, physically jumped back. Like I had a physical reaction to it, which was, it was just kind of crazy. So tell me about debating in the age of COVID, it must have completely changed from this year to last. Last year, we would debate in person at tournaments across the country. And this year, we debate from like our computers in different rooms online. It has changed how you communicate with your partner because like we have to set up an extra call. It kind of creates problems where sometimes there's feedback or if your internet goes out, it makes it really hard to communicate with your partner. But I, I would say it's been going okay. Well, you're the best at it, apparently. <laughs> we try. It's significant. Uh, it's incredibly significant. Significant because Amy Cram Helwick says South High isn't your typical national power, but she says the Minnesota Urban Debate League, which she leads at Augsburg University, is helping level the playing field. Minnesota has a really old uh, debate tradition going back to 1902 with the first state debate tournament. But we were founded in 2004 because urban schools didn't uh, any longer have debate programs. And in that time period, um, our students have really shown how amazing, bright, and brilliant that they are. And they just need the same resources and access, and they're going to have really great success. And Gabe and Clara aren't the first examples of that. In 2016, a team from St. Paul's Highland Park High School won the national tournament. They have always to be honest, inspired me because they came from a very similar small school background. The only way to determine the political imaginary- And this year, inspiration also came from the events in their own backyard. I can't breathe. The overarching theme for all of this year's competitions, criminal justice reform. It feels a little more personal. Like we've kind of seen a lot of it play out in like local politics. So we can imagine kind of what it would look like on a national scale or what different policies people might want to use. We both live in South Minneapolis. We were really close to George Floyd Square. And a lot of the debates about um, police reform in Minneapolis are very polarized. In debate, you have to argue both sides of an issue. Um, you have to support and um, negate the issue. And one thing that debate has helped me see is like how it's more than just like one correct way of going about police reform. And there's multiple avenues Brilliant kids. Congrats to them. Good luck at Nationals. See ya.